Hello and welcome to the new video. Today I will show you how to mount the NZXT Kraken 120, something that I previously covered, but I realized that I have missed a few important things, so I'm redoing it for you guys. And this time I'm going to cover everything from start to finish, including the parts where I have messed up a few months ago. In the last video I missed a few key steps in the installation process. First starting from the bad camera angle while I was mounting water block on the CPU and second a lot of you guys had hard time finding out where to put RGB header. Installing this water cooling solution can be a bit tricky, especially if you are doing it for the first time. That's why I am here to walk you through the entire process step by step one more time. Okay, so what do we have? We have a radiator. On the radiator you can find the pump, this square in here. From that square we have a 3 pin pump power cable. Next one is the water block. And from water block we have two cables for RGB. One is male and one cable is female. In the box you will find two additional cables. You need to connect male to female to have your RGB lightning work. Just plug it in like this. And in terms of this other cable you actually don't need it. This is for connecting to additional RGB lightning. We are not going to details with this one, you can check the previous video but we are mounting fan and screwing it in. Ok, so since we are mounting this water block on AM4 motherboard, you get your backplate with your motherboard. And uh, you don't need other backplate for mounting this water pump, uh, you just need additional bracket that you get in your NZXT Kraken 120 box. And as always my choice from Arctic MX4 thermal paste. And imagine something, I am now editing this video and adding voiceover and I have realized that I made a same mistake again. Ok, now you can clearly see what I am doing, but uh, this is not a good camera angle for mounting water cooling block. But you, you get the point what you need to do. Ok, so screw it in all the way uh, until it doesn't turn around anymore. Ok, so as we talked at the beginning of this video, we have from the water block two cables, male and female. We connected additional cable for RGB lightning. So we use this one and now you want to find on your motherboard RGB header where you are going to plug this cable. You can do that by searching manual for your motherboard. For me it is J Rainbow, as you can see currently on the video. And we are going to plug this cable in there. Ok, next we have cable from the fan itself and we are going to plug it in in the CPU fan. On the motherboard, of course. Ok, now the last cable is a pump power cable. Connect this 3 pin pump power cable of the pump embedded in the radiator to the 4 pin, they call it CPU OPT pump or AIO pump connectors on the motherboard. Additionally you can connect it even to sys fan, just set it to 12 volts in BIOS. Hey NZXT, I'm talking to you. If you are watching this, in some case, I'm here to review your product. Send them my way and I'll give them a nice examination and make sure that they get the attention they deserve. And if you are feeling really generous, why not throw in a custom PC case? It's just a suggestion, but hey, it would be awesome. That's it. 
Hopefully this video has helped you to understand how to mount the NZXT Kraken 120 liquid cooler properly. If you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And uh, if you want to see more content like this, let me know what else you want to see in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.